Hey y'all, it's me, Lynn Daniel, coming to share my dissertation wall with you. I am using a combination of strategies here to organize my thoughts and ideas and facts and data on my dissertation. So I got the idea from Dr. Guy White, who is the dissertation mentor. What he recommends is that you collect 500 quotes for your dissertation. You write them on note cards and you compile like a card catalog of quotes that you're going to use in your dissertation. I took that idea plus the data wall that we use at school where I teach and most schools have like a data room and on that in that room they put the data that they use to um, monitor and analyze student growth over the course of the school year from um, standardized test scores and all. Okay so I have a, a space for each chapter and you'll see that these are those big poster boards. I got these at Walmart for about a dollar each and I have a total of six poster boards on the wall. They're tacked on the wall using a thumb tack so it's not going to destroy anything. It's real inexpensive and it's real easy to make. So I have all of my chapters outlined. That's my chapter one which is the introduction. My chapter two which is the lit review. My chapter three which is my methodology chapter, my chapter four, which is my results chapter, and my chapter five, which is discussion of my results and discussion of, you know, future, um, future purposes for the study and things like that. There is an appendices section, and then you can include your vitae, your resume, in your in your um, dissertation. So each section, as you can see, has some information on there. Chapter one is quite bare because I've done my chapter one and it's the majority of it is in the paper itself. Um, so that's why you don't see it up there because I had already started it once I started writing and then I did the wall. Okay, chapter two, as you can see, has more because this is the chapter I'm currently on. And before I got to it, I pretty much outlined um, my theoretical frameworks. I outlined some uh, order of significance of materials to use based on what I heard from Dr. Guy White. Um, I looked at some theoretical frameworks initially, but they've been changed. And other things, you look at um, how to delve in to show depth of knowledge of your content, um, different strategies that you can use in your writing, like compare and contrast the, the literature, uh, define the literature, look at the results of the study. You want to do a first level look, you want to do a second level look. First level is kind of easy, but that's when you define, describe, and provide examples. Second level look is a little deeper down. You're digging, drilling down, where you're comparing, contrasting, and you're analyzing. And then there are other um, important um, hints on here as well. So this board, I can use sticky notes, as you can see. Um, I have sticky notes. I have cards that I've taped up here with boxing tape and different things. Even over here, I have reminders, calendars, due dates and stuff tacked up here just to keep me. I even have a, a Bible quote up here for, um, you know, inspiration. So I just wanted to share this with you all. Not too long of a video, but I'm just encouraging you. If any of you are working on your doctoral dissertation or even a master's thesis and you're feeling overwhelmed or stuck or you're feeling like um, you're overwhelming your chair and you need someone else to talk to, maybe more than a friend, um, check out Dr. Guy White. I find him very helpful. He's a good He's an excellent researcher and an excellent resource to help you to stay organized and to keep your mind on your dissertation, on your studies, okay? Thanks for viewing this video, you all. Be sure to share this video with your friends who are getting their doctorate so that they can have some tips. Maybe they can come join us and provide us some tips. Um, leave a comment at the bottom and thumbs up, okay? Be blessed, y'all. Bye.